something or other. Somebody's going to get that. Right. Uh, today we're doing uh, my index card for the last week in week four. This is week four roundup, isn't it? Um, today is day 28 and it's steampunk. Now, I'm not a massive steampunk fan. I quite like some of the stuff in it, but really some of the stuff I can do without. I do have a bit of a few kind of steampunky stamps and things, and I kind of wondered about maybe I could do them. Actually, something as soon as I saw steampunk, it was something else that sprung to mind, and uh, <laughs> we're to try and do an album cover, believe it or not. This is going to show my age, but hey, that's fine. So, my plan, I'm what I need to do is I need to find letters now, I've got letters in here. So let's take this out and let's see if I can find the letters I need first of all. And I'm going to speed this bit up. Sorry, I just realised it was all rustling under that paper bag then. Um, I'm now going to find letters and I'll speed this up and see how long it takes you to work out what I might be doing. Cutting out the paper clips, um, I suddenly thought I'm never going to be able to cover this yellow with paint. So I went and pink isn't really the kind of colour, especially hot pink isn't really the kind of colour I would normally have around. Um, and I thought mm, my origami paper might have, and right enough, a double sided origami paper did have it. I thought a double sided origami paper would. So I'm just going to tear this. So that it's, I think in the actual album cover, it's a, it's not a straight line, but I quite like the idea of it being a straight line. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it a ruler's width like that. There we go. And then we can put that on there. Doesn't quite. Oh, how annoying is that? Right, so I'm going to have to do it like that. And then, oh, will I, can I, can I, I can just get it on there at a slightly different angle. So let's, let's put that on the, in fact, before we do that, the other thing I wanted to do was, um, these aren't safety pins like it would be if it was proper steampunk, proper steampunk. Um, these aren't 
safety pins like if it was proper punk but steampunk I need to rust them up so I thought I'd rust them up with some gathered twigs and I want I want there we go rusty hinge that's marmalade though isn't it I've just picked up a rusty hinge and gathered twigs and I'm going to just rust these up a bit so that this is the kind of nod to the steampunk but it's not steampunk never mind the steam up lovely and I, when they were wet the actual paper clip shape wasn't showing very well but it is now so I'm not going to add anything to it because if I silver them up then it kind of defeats the whole purpose but I did think I was going to do one other thing and uh, I'm, I'm not advocating this I'm just <laughs> because I'm doing a kind of punk thing and um, I just feel like I want to do the, one of the symbols that was very uh, big in the punk scene which is that which was vote for anarchy which I always thought was a bit of a a strange thing because if you were voting then it wasn't anarchy but then I'm just going to do I've done it there I'm going to do it over this side here as well a smaller one And we'll do one, we'll do one here as well, I think. There we go. Well, there we go. This is the card for today, day 28. And the prompt was steampunk and I've done never mind the steam in a punk fashion the cards for the rest of the week you've already seen the first three tulips hummingbird and coffee or tea as has been oh button as has been every single week so far, I do something on the Saturday or the Friday and then I go and look at the list on the Saturday after I've done Saturdays uh, to see the list for next week. And there's usually something on the list that I did either on the Friday or the Saturday I've already done or I, it's an element that I would have done in the, the You've seen what's happened, like the Terezzo and stuff. Fold was this week's because, of course, I did a wee bit of origami with the boat for beach, the beach boat. And uh, and then we had fold and I've ended up doing sheep for the sheep fold. Yeah, OK, maybe not. And then on that was Monday. No, that was Tuesday. On Wednesday, the word was strawberry and I've done, yeah, aha, uh -huh. do you get it? No, it's tennis, it's raining, which is Wimbledon and Wimbledon strawberries. 
Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm going. I'm going too left field now. Uh, this next one certainly is a bit left field. This one was opaque, and I found that quite difficult. This was yesterday's, until I suddenly thought, well, if you can't see through a window, then. So we've got an opaque window. Shadow or, you know, what's making that window opaque? It's, you know how sometimes on a sunny day, you can't see through the window because of the, the sun, the way the sun's shining or the way a shadow's being cast. So it's a shadow or, and then I just did this wee bit of doodling, um, which, which in my head says, um, like the view hey but today was never mind the steam punk thank you so much for watching you take care and we'll see you very soon keep crafting bye for now